only have one person hook that roll and go right in. <laughs> when people first come to a lake that they've never fished before uh, one of the best things you can do is is get a, a, a DNR map of the lake go on their website you can buy them at bait shops anywhere you want and just you know with that map you can see some of the underwater humps and you can see the shorelines that got the points coming out of them and stuff and that'll give you a starting point till you get out on the lake so if you're fishing a shoreline you got this wind you'd want you'd want it you know the wind coming into the shoreline pushing that stuff up into the shallows here, here's another one that's a good one perfect size about 14 14 and a half incher They sure are pretty fish, and you know the walleye with the white tail, naturally. The most sought-after fish there is in Minnesota. Yeah. But we'd like a little faster action than this. You can make enough for our dinner. Yeah, we got to we got to feed uh, 15 people tonight, so <laughs> that takes a lot of fish. So what's the what's the menu? Potatoes, onions, and fish, and then beans. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's great. And the fish that you caught too. Caught a couple. Well, I'm cooking up some fish here, but I actually live on deer and fish. Yeah, that's my main meat. I don't buy any red meat because I shoot enough deer to last all year and I eat fish a couple times a week year round. I catch them year round. Yeah. I'm gonna have to flip the fish here. So. And the smoke is getting me. It's all good, natural food. There's no preservatives in this stuff. You ever hear about the uh, local food movement? No. Yeah. It's people who are trying to eat lots of most stuff, mostly stuff from where they're from, like natural stuff. Minnesota. You yeah. Know. Um, Rodney. So that has nothing. You just like the food. You just like wild food. Or? Because I harvest it, I eat it. I don't let it go to waste. Oh, why do you harvest it? I guess that's just what I do. This one. This one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Put it down, I'll do the holster. And when you feel something, you just kind of point toward it and then set the hook back. That's a fish right there. See, I'm gonna give it a little line. Okay, then we put the bail down, reel down, and there it is. Might even be a keeper. That's your basic Winnie walleye. Whoops. See, it, it didn't swallow it. See, it's hooked right there. I've taken a lot of rich people that have been a lot of places. I've yet to see one that doesn't get excited when they have a fish on the line. I mean, it's just incredible. <clears throat> We're kind of born into things, you know. I mean, uh, we are who we are for several reasons. One is by birth, you know, and, and the other is what we choose and, and we see a lot of people that uh, actually don't like it as much they'd rather play golf and that's fine you know everybody's a little different but even the golfers like to catch a fish like i said there's not many thrills like having a fish on the end of the line you know, it's just it's, it's you know, people have traveled the world and they come out and do this and they go wow this is they get all excited they're real fast and you know so that's i think that's all all part of it and some of it just can't be explained well, look at the boats out here. You know, I mean, <laughs> if they sold all this equipment, they could eat fish and, and, and steaks <laughs> for, for years and years and years. But, you know, I mean, who's going to spend $30,000 to catch a fish and figure it out per pound? It's, it's pretty expensive. So there has to be a lot more to it. You know, you know the whole idea of, of uh, you know, being a hunter-gatherer, you know, I think it's back to our, it's genetic in us to hunt and gather, you know, rather than to have somebody else do it. And I think even the people that I take that fish, don't fish very often, you know, I mean, they just, I think they connect more. And, and it's not like a sport sport, it's, it's a different experience, I think. You know, it's not like uh, a hitting a line drive or a, a nice drive in golf. I think it just, just it, it connects way back to some primordial type of, uh, instinct that we have, you know, connects us with the ancients and it connects us with all the mysteries of like migration and, and what's underwater. I mean, that whole world down there is a different world, you know, and I think we're connecting with, with something and I think it just makes us feel better about ourselves.